What's going on guys? Belligerent here with another Bloodline video. This is in our clan series. We're taking a look at the different clans. We're trying to make a determination. If you're picking one, which one is better, the male or the female? It's one of the biggest questions that we got going on right now because the game just released a couple of days ago. If you watch this later on and you're new to the game, you're probably going to have that question. Which one should I use? There's some cases where you might use both but we're gonna make a distinction one or the other. No fence sitting here. We're gonna pick one or the other. Okay, so for today's video, we are taking a look at the Travian clan. This is basically the elf archer. That's what I'm, you know, I'm not gonna try. Some of these names, I'm, I, I can't pronounce that stuff, man. We're just, Travain is probably how it's pronounced. They're elven archers. So let's, let's get into this. Let's take a look at the male here. His passive ability, Splitting Arrow. After three normal attacks, the next attack fires a Splitting Arrow at up to three targets, dealing damage equal to a percentage of his strength. Again, just to touch on it, in case you haven't seen the other videos, the percentages that you see in this video come from the Codex. The Codex shows you the highest level it can reach. The Mythic 5-star fully ranked character uh, your champion might show a different percent because you don't have the five star mythic okay so I, I try to avoid saying the numbers all right but this one tells you that it's going to be less than full damage but it can do it up to three uh, three targets after three normal attacks so that's all right every every three or four normal basic attacks you're doing damage to multiple targets. Eh, it is what it is. Okay. His active ability, Constraining Arrow, deals damage equal to a percentage of his strength to the target and prevents it from moving for two seconds. Okay. That wording, I think, is key. Or it's just the inconsistency in the game. Some of this we're just kind of left to speculate because they don't give us a lot of information like many developers these days. But it says, prevents it from moving for two seconds. So that's not a stun. It's more like a root. That's a term I've seen in other games where you root somebody in place. That's kind of a useless ability uh, in an autopiloted game. Right, in an autopiloted game, they're all just kind of moving forward towards their target. There's no, it's this isn't a, a player controlled MOBA where there's strategy and skill and positioning that you have to account for, and rooting somebody can prevent them from escaping. Nobody in this autopiloted game is trying to escape. There's no programming in the AI that I've seen that where they, when they get to a certain percentage of health, they turn around and try to run away and heal. They're, so rooting them and not letting them move forward, like, I, I, it's not that big. I could see it being useful maybe if you root uh, the tank or something, or maybe the warrior or an assassin, which prevents them from doing what that group is trying to accomplish. But, you know, in perspective, it's not that big of a deal compared to a lot of the other skills that you can get from other uh, clans or other you know champions all right his ultimate charged arrow charges up and fires a powerful penetrating arrow dealing damage equal to a percent of his strength to all enemies along its path this is important but again it's limited because it's it's an autopilot game so you can't pick his target you can't pick the target that's going to give you the most hits but Everybody that it passes through, it will do this damage too. It also reduces the target's fortitude, which is armor, fortitude by 15% and knocks them back. Okay. So knockbacks in an autopilot game where everybody's just coming forward anyway, kind of useless. Uh, but the fortitude, cutting the fortitude by 15%, that's big. When you lower somebody's defense by 15%, that's big. Damaging multiple people. That's big. All in all, not a great kit. Let's look at her. Passive is Tank Buster. The third attack or skill on the same target, so she has to attack the target three times, 
will deal additional true damage equal to 2% of their max health. So two big things there. Okay? It's true damage. If you don't know what true damage is, true damage ignores armor. There's no math involved. She does the damage like if they had no armor on. Okay? And then 2% of the max health. So it doesn't matter where their health is. It's always so if their max health is a thousand, it's always going to do two percent of a thousand. Okay, it doesn't matter like where the health bar is within that thousand. All right, quick shot. Her active ability rapidly fires at an enemy three times, each shot dealing damage equal to a percent of her health. So she triggers the ability and she shoots off three quick attacks basically doing twice the damage yeah it's all right and then final showdown enters a focus state which reduces damage taken by 20 percent and increases attack speed by 20 percent and increases strength by a whole bunch with two percentage <laughs> symbols sorry had to point that out um so this is a decent uh ultimate right she Basically gets more armor, shoots faster, and hits ten times as hard. At least by this percent. Your percent might be different. So that's pretty good. Overall, just okay kits for both of these. I think he is much more utility, right? He has the root, which is utility. Uh, he has the knockback, which is utility. He lowers defense. He doesn't feel like he has a lot of offense. Hers is a little more offensive uh, but both kits just kind of average if I had to pick one and that's what we do here we're going with the female that's the one that I'm running but again if you're going to tech like if you're teching for specific things in your comp if his his utility helps your comp he might be the one but we're just talking in general not specific comps so in general the winner for this one the winner for this clan is the female like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. I'm belligerent. Thanks.